do you know all thirty-five of my animals? After today's video, you will. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most of you know me as ZA Reptiles. And in today's video, because of Herpmas and celebrating the holidays, I'm going to do something I haven't done in ages. And I'm going to introduce you to all of my pets. Now I said 35 at the beginning of the video. I think it's 35. I tried to do a quick count, but I kept losing count. So before we hop too far into the video, I do just want to make a disclaimer. The animals are what I do for work. I have my own reptile education business. So by default, I have to have a large variety of animals to make sure that the same animals aren't getting used over and over again, or when an animal's having a bad day, I know that I have another animal I can fall back on. So my animals are my job. I work from home, I'm self-employed, I spend all my time here pretty much. So I am capable of having and caring for this many animals. Would I recommend the everyday pet keeper have this many animals? Definitely not, it is a lot, especially if you work full time, which I have done the last several years, and it was a lot but I do have this many animals because it is my job. If you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you go do that because that's where I do all of my Hurtmas giveaways. And because we're getting closer to Christmas, the giveaways are starting to get big. In fact, I just got the details for next Wednesday's Hurtmas giveaway and it is amazing, as are all of the giveaways, of course. We couldn't do it without the people and businesses that sponsor each giveaway, so big thank you to them. And now I know not all of you have Instagram, so today we're actually going to be doing a Hurtmas giveaway here on YouTube. So make sure you stay until the very end because I'm going to tell you what the prize is and how to enter. Let's get into meeting them. Starting with the first one, this is Sable May, my trash puppy. If you missed that video, she was found in a trash bag on the side of the road in town. We don't really know where she came from, who abandoned her, but she was found by a local shop in a garbage bag, literally on the side of the road. So that is the only mammal that I have, the only fur baby. So we're gonna get into the reptiles now and the couple other things that I have that kinda go along with reptiles. So we'll see how many animals I actually pull out. If I take every animal out, this video's gonna take me all day. So I might take you around to different enclosures, especially for the animals that don't really like to be handled. Um, but I will try to take out as many as I can for you guys. So first up is Zero. This is my milk snake. There's been a lot of debate every time I post about him on what kind of milk snake he is. I was told by the family I got him from that he is a Mexican milk snake. That's what they bought him as. So that is just what I roll with. He is six years old and if you don't know the story on Zero, I will put his video up here. That way you can get the story on Zero because the day I got him, that was quite an adventure. So that is zero. And I am just absolutely obsessed with the red, white, and black coloring. And you will continue to see that throughout this video. You can also tell that he's getting ready to shed because he looks very dull. He's not quite as bright red as he normally is. Next up is this cork tube. And within this cork tube is my AccuMonitor Reptar, who you can see right there. So this is Reptar's first Meet My Pets video. If you don't know the story with Reptar, he came from the local nature center where I worked. He was very unhappy there, unhandleable, it was just too much going on. So when I left, he came with me and almost within 24 hours, he turned into a completely different lizard. We could handle him, I could bring him to programs with me, he's done birthday parties, and his favorite thing in the entire world is this cork tube. This is Suki and Yue, my two normal African fat-tailed geckos. Yue is much better at being handled than Suki. So this is Yue, she's a little bit bigger. She is my primary program fat tail. She's the one that I will let people handle. And they're both six years old. If you're new here, Suki, the littler one, has a bubble foot, so her foot is like a little bubble. It has been seen by the vet. I will put that video up here if you want to check that out and kind of see that journey. Um, but she does have a bubble foot which is why she primarily stays home. She doesn't go out on programs. This is Queso. She is my eight-year-old leopard gecko. She was another rehoming situation. She came to me with Chalupa, my Euromastix. They were being housed together. And if you know anything about leopard geckos and Euromastix, they come from completely different areas in the world and have completely different needs. So yeah, 
while I've got you guys off of the ring light stand, we might as well meet the invertebrates because I don't handle these guys. That crazy lady right there is Spinderella, my Costa Rican zebra tarantula, who's determined to not be on camera. She just totally smushed herself over there. And then we've got Vinegar, my Vinegar Rune. These used to freak me out so much when I worked with them at the zoo that I worked at. And now I love them. Like, like I love vinegar. I won't handle vinegar. But vinegar to me is so cool. And then you guys got so lucky that Hutan's out because he's never out. This is my little Asian forest scorpion. Still just a little guy. Though I am starting to finally feel like he's growing. I've had him since spring. I got him from my buddy Adam over at Uncharted Wild. Great educator. If you haven't followed him on Instagram, you totally should. But look how beefy his claws are getting. Here's another one who has been hit or miss with handling. He's been a little grumpy lately. This is Alfredo, my legless lizard. And you can see he's waiting by his plate for his reptilinks. He has become obsessed with reptilinks. So now he just sits at his plate and waits and waits and waits. So I'm going to have to go pull him some reptilinks here soon. And yes, legless lizards are in fact lizards with no legs. Now, Alfredo, we don't know the age of because he was wild caught. I do not condone buying wild caught pets. Alfredo had bounced around to a couple homes before he came to live with me. And then we've got Puka, my Chinese water dragon, who is also three years old. And you would think appreciate me a lot more considering when I took her on, she was very sick. And we weren't sure she was going to make it. And then she had like a miraculous recovery. She's doing great. Here we are three years later. She's spoiled. She's got some goodies coming soon that I'm excited to tell you guys about eventually. And instead she just doesn't like me after all we've been through. Got one of my favorites. My my favorite boy back here. This is Crikey, my jeweled Lacerda. I'm obsessed with jeweled Lacerdas. I absolutely love them. Crikey doesn't love me, but I love him. And Crikey is four years old. And now we're gonna move into the geckos, starting with Pip, my crested gecko. She was my first crested gecko. She came from Spa City Critters. And if you live in New York, you probably know who Spa City Critters is. But she is now five years old. And then we have Potato, my other crested gecko. And Potato is my education crested gecko because he has no tail. He is a frog butt, so I don't have to fear him dropping his tail on a program. And Potato, we don't know how old he is. Potato came from an unfortunate situation and he ended up getting shipped to me from another area of New York. Um, so we don't know how old he is. The rescue that ended up with him and all the other animals that were in that situation um, guessed that he was probably about three years old. He was fully grown, so he could be much older than that and I just have no idea. So going by that, if he was three years old, he is now about seven years old. Like I said, he could be older than that and I just have no idea. And then my last arboreal gecko is Tula. She is my gargoyle gecko. I've only had her a couple of years, but she is seven years old now. She actually came from the same family that I got Suki and Yue, my two fat tails from. I took them on and I kept giving her updates and she really liked what I had done with them, their setup, their care. Um, and then she asked me if I wanted a gargoyle gecko because she thought I could provide her with great care. And I said, absolutely, I'll take a gargoyle gecko. So then we have Tula. This is Kalua. He is my nine year old Champagne Paradox ball python. And I love paradoxes. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I didn't know about paradoxes until I found Kalua. Kalua was another rehoming situation. You know, this guy had a friend with some snakes he didn't want anymore. So the friend agreed to take them on while he found homes for them. And then of course we have Tansy because what reptile fever doesn't have a bearded dragon? And I say that, but I always said I would never have a bearded dragon. I just wasn't interested. And then I met Tansy and her little face, just, I just couldn't say no to her little face. She was a beardy in need. And then buried in here is my Colombian rainbow boa calypso somewhere. She was very sweet when I got her and then as time went on, she started to like me less. So she mostly just does her thing now. Sometimes I'll bring her as a pro or as a display animal for like events because she does well with that. It's just the handling. She's like, no, thank you. Then we have Rumpel, my tricolor hog nose. He is three years old. And remember when I said that red, white, and black coloring would come back in later in the video? Yep, here it is. 
And then we've got my Western Hognose, who had another growth spurt. This is Penelope. She was my first Hognose and what made me obsessed with Hognoses. And she is four years old. And kind of grumpy because I just woke her up. I rumple. And excuse me while I look for my pet dirt. I mean my a sand boa. This is Tootsie, my Kenyan sand boa. And she is five years old. And we're almost done with the first room. We have three animals left. This is Cusco, my blue tongue skink, and he is about five years old. He's a big boy. And then becoming one of my favorite species is the Euromastix because they're a lot of fun at programs, and Chalupa here has actually become a fan favorite at my educational programs and shows. So depending on how you say it, she is a yellow gyri or gyri, and she is nine years old, and this is the Euromastix that I said I got my leopard gecko queso with. There's one animal left in this room, and I'm going to take you with me to go see him. Gotta break out the step stool for this one. Here he is. This is Phoenix, my albino corn snake. He was my very first snake. And I wasn't expecting him to be out, otherwise I would have taken him out. He likes to hide in this part of his background back here where I can't get to him, but he's out. So, hi Phoenix. He's also a little bit testy. And my camera battery has been flashing. So we successfully made it through the first room without my camera dying. So we're gonna change the battery and head to the next room. So first we have what some would call a blinking rock, which I find hysterical. This is Mango, my little Pac-Man. Then we have a freshly shed Mojito, who's another one of my male ball pythons. He's just a little normal guy. Then we have Snicket back there. He's my banana ball python. Then we have Sploosh, my alligator snapping turtle. And if you remember two years ago, I got him for Christmas for myself. And he was like a little tiny guy in the palm of my hand. Now he almost takes up my whole hand. Crazy. I feel like he hasn't grown that much, but clearly he has. And they're a very slow growing species. But it's hard to believe I've had him for two years already. Vladimir Sploosh Kadoosh. And we have another fat tailed gecko. This is Willow. She's absolutely gorgeous and has made a fantastic program animal. Kids love her because she's kind of pink and just very pretty. And Willow is nine years old. And then we have Voodoo, my Calabar burrowing python, also known as the poop snake. So kids have absolutely loved her. And then we have Little Maple, the pancake tortoise, who again has become a fan favorite. And then we have Samoa, who is my BCI, and I absolutely love her, even if she's absolutely crazy, because she's absolutely gorgeous. And then down here we have my Doomerals, Boa Crunk, who you guys have seen in a ton of videos. He is absolutely awesome, one of my favorites. And that just leaves one animal, so we're gonna go down to the basement to see her. And now she's in the basement because she is ginormous. Her setup is ginormous. If you follow my channel, you've seen it. Muppet says, no thank you, I would rather keep sleeping. Oh, sweet girl. Now for the giveaway. So I didn't show you all of my pets. I left out three pets, two species, but three pets. And you have to guess what you think they are in the comments below. They will be getting their introduction videos as part of Hurtmas, following this one, and a reptile room tour of this room because it's been a while and things have changed. So take a guess in the comments of what species you think I was hiding from you. There are two species, three animals. From those comments, and you don't have to be right, it can be any guess. From those comments, I will randomly select a comment to win this Muppet painting. This painting was painted by Muppet, my Argentine Tegu. It's labeled on the back so you'll never forget. It's open to anyone in the continental US. I will ship it to you if you are the winner. So be sure to turn on your notifications because when I have that winner randomly selected, I will comment on your comment letting you know that you are the winner. I will also post the winner on my community tab on my channel. That way you can double check there too if you aren't sure if you won or not. Best of luck to you all. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you for the next video. Bye!